Okay, guys, we're here today for Edwin Najim. Huge honor for me. I think everybody knows who he is. He, he is one of the guys that everybody want to watch when he's competing because nobody knows what he's going to do next. It, it's like if it's like a dart stroke or a flying triangle. So he's one of the most exciting athletes in Jiu-Jitsu nowadays. And today he's going to show us here one of his favorite techniques, that's the dart choke. And he's going to do the dart choke against the half bear. That's my favorite technique. So I'm very excited <laughs> to learn how he does it. Let's Bye, guys. Go. So we're going to be on the half guard. Hey, guys, I'm Bernardo's uh, bad, bad half guard side, so it's going to be a little easier for me to do. <laughs> he's going to let me do it anyway. Okay, so the way I'm looking for here, guys, is like I actually do everything that's wrong in this position for me to set up a dart. So for the darts, I want people to hug my hip. In jiu-jitsu, when you're passing a guard, you don't want people to hug your hip. But in my in my in this situation, I, I'm gonna let him hug my hip. So I'm kind of like floating my my, my body here, and I'm gonna wait for Brown to just come sitting up, exactly, and start like going for this half guard right here. So once he does this right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start going for um, a guillotine with his arm in, and I'm gonna start using that to to set up a dart right here. So look, I I'm gonna he sits up to grab my hip, I go for the guillotine right here with the arm in, and now I'm gonna start putting all my weight. On top of uh, on top of his chest, okay. So look, I start putting all my weight on top of his chest. I start putting my head on the mat right here to post, and now I'm gonna start using my left leg right here. To start getting out of his half guard, okay. So I'm, I'm using this guillotine. I'm putting pressure on his neck, maybe not choking him, but just making it annoying. And I'm gonna start using that pressure right here. Start escaping my legs right here, okay. Once I escape my legs, I'm doing all this just to clear this hand off my hip, okay. So once I get here, now I'm gonna start. Coming on top and using my elbow and my hip to start clearing this right, this, this left arm off my hip. So look, I, I block his left elbow, I come all the way on top, come all the way on top, and end up in this position right here. Once I'm here now, like my hands are just gonna swing, same grips, just gonna swing through. So my hands are here, my hand just swings through to this side. I'm in a perfect position to finish the darts. Grab my bicep, close my elbow on top. Squeeze my elbows together first, <coughs> and then I drop. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So I'm here. Squeeze my elbows together. Drop my elbow, and I hit the dart. Sorry. Sorry. One more time. Now you know it works. <laughs> it it's, works it's really well. Like, <laughs> you can throw it down. <laughs> so I'm here. Round this is up. Guillotine. For the guillotine, put my head on the mat. Open my half guard. Get right here. Once I'm here, I, get, I do like a little technical stand up here. Push my feet. Trap this is an example right here. Shoot that arm. Get on top. Once I'm on top, I shoot my arm through right here. Grab my bicep. Grab the back. Squeeze my elbows together. Don't just squeeze like a bicep. Squeeze my elbows together. Drop my left elbow. Squeeze. <coughs> and I get a dark stroke right there. Guys, I wish everybody was here to feel how tight it is. <laughs> but, uh, Edwin, there is something that you were doing here, uh -huh. and I don't even know how to explain what's that, that's making the choke super tight. So yeah, the most important detail here is a lot of people squeeze, and they, they go this way. The, 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 the detail that I use, a lot of people maybe might not use, is I squeeze my elbows together. I think that's it. First, you know, I think. that's the, I think, because I don't see a lot of people showing that when they're Can you just cars. go from here, just for an figure? So. Yeah, so I'm here. Yeah. I squeeze my elbows together. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I squeeze my elbows together. So a lot of people do this. Look, a lot of people do this. Tight, right? Not that tight. Yeah, it's not that tight. And I, but I squeeze my elbows together. And now I put that pressure. So I'm here. Drop. Yeah, so, so guys, look how a very small detail can make the huge difference, right? So instead of doing what everybody does, it just almost like a hear nature, right? Yeah, I squeeze my elbows together and then I start dropping my, my, my left elbow to the mat. Oh, and to it. be honest, when I first started doing, doing the darts, I never did this, you know. I learned this like later on, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like to make it more effective. You were adjusting, adjusting, adjusting. Yeah, I was, so teach, I was teaching the darts and people were like, oh, it's cranking more, you know. Oh, yeah, Why yeah. am I cranking the neck, you know? And I was like, at first I'm like, I have no idea, you know. Oh, yeah, I, you know, I'm, you know I, I, need to, I need to learn how to do that, you know. I, I need oh, yeah. to learn why it's cranking. And then I figured out this little elbow trick. Oh, yeah, so. that's amazing. So, guys, we just shot one entire structure with Edwin, mean, all about submissions, so like flying triangles, darts. The steam lock, so make sure to check it out on djfanatics.com. We're gonna launch it very soon. Boss, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.